Thank you for sparing the time. Uh, first up, you know, uh, headwinds faced by the global markets and India, of course. How has that impacted business? How has that impacted ROI? The global market is there's a slowdown, but due to a lot of tariffs on China, there's good opportunity for Indian suppliers, and that is really helping us a lot. That is good, and but overall markets are down. But I think this year US is getting better. But that, so that is exports is good right now. Right, right. How much of the revenue would be from exports vis-a-vis -vis, uh, you know domestic market? Sixty uh, percent is our export revenue. Forty is Indian. Right, right. So you're comparatively better placed in the market then. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, a word on, you know, when do you see a tipping point in terms of reversal of trends, both in the uh, global market and in the domestic market? I think this year should be good for global market. For domestic market, I don't think uh, next four five months there will be a slowdown. Especially now the PS Sex engine is coming, so the vehicles are getting expensive. So I think uh, it will take time for local market to get better. Right. Uh, what about your vendor level efficiencies? How have you ensured that the supply chain is robust, especially in the tier two and the tier three regions? We we, we are a hundred percent export oriented unit, so we import a lot of raw materials. So we import a lot and we keep a big uh, stock in case there is a problem with ports and stuff like that. So we are good, but. Uh, yeah, the, the logistics in India has improved a lot. Right, right. Any disruptions in the supply chain because of the current scenario of the epidemic in China and other other uh, regions affected yeah, that by That will be a big problem. We have few materials coming from China. Right. So, yeah, that will be an issue. Let's see. Now China is opening on 18, how things improve. And then a lot of these companies in China have plants abroad. Right. So, you, can, you they can supply from the other plants as well. Right. At the product level, uh, which are the segments that you are catering? How healthy is the portfolio? Can you repeat that? Of uh, the different segments that you cater to, where is the maximum traction and how healthy is the product portfolio mix? So, we do automotive as well as heavy duty. So, right now in export, the automotive market is okay. Right. Heavy duty, there is a slowdown. Right. So, we are uh, pretty much balanced. Our 70% revenue is from heavy duty, 30 years from automotive. Right. Which is growing. Right. Uh, which are your recent flagship products that you're banking on? So we started producing our automotive brake pad for export market and that's really well. Nice. Right, right. Uh, going forward to sum it up all your growth areas and challenge areas. Growth areas is export, especially to North America. Right. Challenge is the domestic market. The slowdown in India is a big challenge, especially OEM. That is a big challenge at the moment. We have a lot of, uh, we have the mold, we have the production uh, capacity, but the orders are very slow right now. Right, right. Thank you so much for sparing the time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.